I now call on Professor Dora Akunyele. And you can address us sitting down. The chairman has directed. Thank you very much, but I can stand. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, my name is Professor Dora Akonyele, a delegate from Anambra State. Permit me to start by congratulating His Excellency President Goodluck Jonathan for having the courage to convene this national conference. Nigerians have for long clamored for opportunity such as this to discuss our problems and come up with solutions that will strengthen the bonds of our nationhood. I regard this national conference as President Jonathan's best centenary gift to Nigerians and a proof that he is a listening president. Mr. President's speech oozes humility, modesty, patriotism, and a deep concern for the present and future of this beautiful country, Nigeria. Mr. President, in that speech, admitted that sovereignty belongs to the people. And those in authority are only holding power on trust for the people. And of course, that nobody has monopoly of knowledge. Hence, the decision for convening this conference. One thing that stands out from Mr. President's speech is that there is no trace of negativism. For instance, he made it clear that Nigeria's unity is not negotiable and that our duty at this conference is to discuss ways to build a stronger and better Nigeria and I totally agree with him. I am convinced that Nigeria should remain as one nation after 100 years, despite our challenges, because our common values overwhelm our differences. Apart from our long history of togetherness, we've also enjoyed many decades of intermarriages, and mutual coexistence. We have to make sure that this conference delivers on the true spirit of Mr. President's speech. While we discuss the value of unity as written in his speech, we must realize that millions of Nigerians are being discriminated against in various parts of this country where they are born, where their forefathers lived, based on the so-called state of origin. The founding fathers of Nigeria had a dream of building a united, prosperous, and developed nation state, where social justice reigns. We also have to continue to dream because once we stop dreaming, then life is gone. In conclusion, I am convinced that Nigeria will work and fulfill its destiny. I therefore look forward to collaborating with other delegates to chart the way for a better Nigeria. We all want to see a positively transformed Nigeria. I therefore urge all of us to work individually and collectively so as to set the right agenda for Nigeria of our dream. Mr. Chairman, distinguished delegates, I leave you with the words of this Greek proverb. A society grows great when old men plant trees 
whose shade they know they shall never sit in. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Dora.